Today we're going to learn how to customize the UI on DiffGram. So for example, let's say that I didn't want to show some of these buttons. Maybe for some reason I don't want to show previous task or I don't want to show time tracking. It's as easy as hovering over it and clicking the hide button. So same thing for these buttons, even the same thing for logos. To add elements, simply click add elements and then you can add the desired elements back depending on what, you, what you'd like to have uh, on there. So the thing is, it's really easy to customize this. Uh, we're planning to extend this even further in the future. So pretty much anything that is going to be in the UI, you're going to be able to customize. You can eventually think of it almost more kind of like an app builder, sort of like kind of WordPress, where uh, pretty much the entire uh, system, including, for example, whether you want to have this to be a certain size or you want the toolbar to be on the left or the right or you want anything that you can uh, imagine, color scheme, logos, fonts, all that stuff. So for now, the current implementation that's live, that's public, you can you can try out these uh, customizations. And I think this provides very, uh, very real value for certain things if you don't want to show some of these um, buttons, depending on your on your use case. But if you're a uh, enterprise customer, uh, we really like to work with you on your your customization and your ideas. So please uh, let us know. And just to wrap that up, uh, this is where it gets consumed. So basically, you you customize it, and then it gets saved, and then you can pick from the from the list uh, here. And basically, when you're making these tasks, this is the option where you can customize it. So again, it can be customized. Uh, differently for each task as you desire so you can you can reuse the same template of course but if you wanted for example one group of people to see uh, one interface design and you want other people to see another group then you can do that 